city, with over 50,000 retail and restaurant businesses employing over 600,000 people across the five boroughs. These businesses are an economic multiplier, recircling a high percentage of their revenues within our local economy, creating even more growth. Just as important, retail and restaurant small businesses are a crucial vehicle for entrepreneurship, especially among recent arrivals to our city. These businesses provide, a critical, provide critical neighborhood services and are culturally relevant retail for so many New Yorkers. Whether it's our five Chinatowns or the hundreds of Caribbean-owned businesses in Flatbush or the South American restaurants and businesses of Elmhurst, small businesses are key to the ability to start a new life and eventually enter the middle class. But these opportunities are under threat and have been for quite a while. Losing this economic ladder limits opportunity and contributes to New York City's growing economic inequality. And we cannot develop good public policy solutions until we have solid data. I'd like to thank Manhattan Borough President Brewer and her staff for their partnership in developing this legislation. I'm also proud to sponsor intro 1471 that will require the city to provide technical assistance to small businesses, especially building an e-commerce presence. Both of my bills are part of the comprehensive package that will help protect small businesses and begin to address the empty storefronts impacting so many of our neighborhoods. I'd like to thank Speaker Johnson, Chair Joni, as well as Rob Newman, Rachel Codero, and Irene Bashovsky from the Speaker's Office and my legislative director, Ned Terrace. I'd also like to recognize the tireless efforts of advocates and organizations fighting for our local small businesses, especially all of those within the United for Small Business New York City Coalition. Thank you very much. Thank you, Council Member. Uh, Council Member Rivera would like to speak on intro 1049. Thank you, Mr. Chair, for the opportunity to speak and ask for support on intro 1049A. The challenges facing small business owners in New York City are well known. Rising commercial rents and taxes, competition from corporate franchises, and the growth of online shopping have forced an alarming number of mom and pop stores to close their doors. In District 2, these challenges are especially acute, and it is now just as common to see a big box retailer or a vacant storefront as it is to see a small business. In order to best support our city small business community, we need a full documented understanding of the state of storefront businesses across the five boroughs. That is why I am pushing for passage of intro 1049, which would require the Department of Small Business Services to complete an assessment of the state of storefront businesses in at least 20 community districts once every three years. The bill also requires SBS and the Departments of Finance and City Planning to publish reports on their findings. These reports would include information about individual stores, such as the owner's background, the number of people they employ, the types of economic activities in which they are engaged, their annual sales and their sales tax, and their experiences in accessing small business support services provided by local agencies. By also tracking the number of active storefront businesses, vacancies, and physical streetscape conditions in an area, these reports will provide a picture of the economic health of our neighborhoods. When a small business closes, it is not only a loss for their neighborhood's local economy, but also for its vibrancy, history, and character. But the passage of Intro 1049 would mark an important step in better analyzing the small business environment in a complicated retail landscape and, based on the data, create new or expand on existing tools that address the needs of these owners. Further, the information in these reports will help clarify long-term citywide trends, guide entrepreneurs and advocates in promoting specific commercial use types, and focus attention on built environments that require additional resources. I want to thank my fellow bill sponsors and the small business owners who have been tireless advocates on this important issue. I also want to thank the United for Small Business New York City Coalition, which includes the Association for Neighborhood and Housing Development, 
Brooklyn Legal Service Corporation A, Chaya CDC, the Community Development Project of Urban Justice Center, Cooper Square Committee, Fourth Arts Block, Municipal Arts Society, Northwest, Bro Northwest Bronx Community and Clergy Coalition, the New York City Artists Coalition, Street Vendor Project, Women's Housing and Economic Development Corporation, Volunteers of Legal Service, and of course, the committee staff here at the New York City Council. Their input played a critical part in our negotiations with the administration, the ongoing and relentless negotiations with the administration over every single detail in this important bill. If you support a diverse, people-powered, and vibrant small business community, I ask the members of this committee, the committee to join me and vote yes on this piece of legislation. Thank you. Thank you, Council uh, Member, and uh, between yourself and uh, Council Member Rosenthal, uh, you've been staunch supporters of our small businesses and been very loud advocates along with many of our colleagues. We have a workload ahead of us. We have to be more proactive than reactive, and these are some incredible bills that go a long way with addressing the issues uh, before they become major issues. Um, our vacant storefronts are an alarming concern for all. And I'll paint another picture for you. And maybe shouldn't, this isn't the place, but I'm going to take the opportunity to talk about something that's on the horizon. When we look at our commercial corridors, the banks, which occupy almost every corner, are currently undergoing a process by which they have an exit strategy available to them. They are starting to sell the properties that they currently own and lease them back. And that, for many, is the playbook for an exit strategy for the day that they decide to go fully automated um, using nothing more than kiosks and ATMs to be the bank service of, uh, providers. But that will have a tremendous amount of commercial space vacant, which will help continue the downward spiral of all of our co commercial corridors. So thank you again uh, for being such a loud supporter of our small business and understanding that we have a vital role in making sure that they continue to survive and thrive in this ever-changing environment. So I think uh, now it's up to you, Bill, to call for vote. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on small business. All items are coupled. Chair Joe Nine. Aye on all. Drum. Aye on all. Rosenthal. Aye on all. Perkins. Aye on all. By a vote of four in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, all items have been adopted by the committee. We are now adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>